Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading and this is for Pisces Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Pisces, you're gonna assume that whom I am describing you is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online where I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You will be right to my page. Tap in your question and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading and if you also want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color dated December the 1st to December the 7th follow me on Instagram if you also want to know your financial forecast for the month of December follow me on Instagram as well if you resonate with the reading congratulations if you do not resonate with the reading you can come back to the reading after a week or two time is fluid if you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading still congratulations where I am doing a collective reading so Pisces if you are into um, timeless readings like twin flame readings almost personal readings pick a card the channel messages and i have a new segment which is the harsh truth you may want to subscribe to the other channel timeless tarot 111 and let's begin pisces your first card is the temperance followed by the wheel of fortune someone's happiness is within the reach it's about to come and this is a long time coming so someone here waited for such a long time for this specific event for this specific person this is like your kind of your christmas gift you know from the ethers you may have let's say you're probably reaching into this goal for quite a while now but this is the time that you can fully achieve it right wheel of fortune especially when it comes to your abundance pisces i can see here that it's kind of like you are not going to believe what you're going to you know receive from the universe i can sense here that your patience has been tested someone is testing you i can sense here the universe tested you and you passed those trials you might be connected with a sagittarius or has a sagittarius placement in their chart or you have a sagittarius placement in your chart or this could be you or this could be the cross watchers cross watchers if you feel like this is your reading so be it and Pisces, if you feel like you are in the cross watcher side, that is okay. I'm not reading which side you at. I'm reading the energy for a cup. So I can sense your Pisces that probably this person, if this is a person that you are, um, that you are wanted to, you know, have this wheel of fortune, this event, um, this person probably is not focused on you before. They are focused with some other energies you're offering your cups here but they are kind of like dizzy they don't know what to do um they're a little sad here so five of pentacles this also this person could also be left you out in the cold um did numbers on you you know um blocked you ghosted you didn't even want to talk to you but this is the time that the passion all of those um coldness all of those you know um things that you don't like here will be it, it will turn into something warm you know they will be enlightened here i wish that this could be you know not just because of the conjunction but i think that this is because that they really feel it december the 21st by the way we are having this conjunction so things may be blurry as of the moment so planetary conjunction is going to happen the 21st of december this could also you know affect the, the, the way they behave, the way they think. I can sense here that things are going to go to a calmer water. I can sense your Pisces that 
all of those hardships, you know, this is the time that you don't have to even lift a finger. Six of Pentacles. You, this person will gonna give you an equal give and take. Although this person hurted you, this person will also heal you. Um, I can sense here that if you are separated with this person, this person, you know, will, this is the last cycle of your separation here, Pisces. I can sense that you are connecting with your person, with the person that you have a soul bond with. Um, I can see you might be a Gemini or has a Gemini placement in their chart, or you have a Gemini placement in your chart, but I can see that this is a connection we're in both of you will finally understand but what i want to know why the four of cups is here four of cups the knight of swords and knight of wands so i think that this person someone here it could be you who wants to move a little faster but they don't you know they can catch up the face of you know how fast you want to move in this connection so i can sense here that probably the reason also why they do not want to move a little faster here, it is because that um, they are focused with someone else's energy. This is what I am seeing. Um, Five of Pentacles is here. This person probably left you out in the cold ghost that you didn't even, you know, want to be bothered by your energy. So rejecting all of those offers. Seven of Swords and Six of Swords. Six of Swords is here. I think that, you know, from this, the Seven of Swords is a thief in the night. So they're probably do not really want it, your energy before. But Six of Swords is kind of like, they're also healing. Um, the, the, the pain is healing. The pain is healing. In, um, that's what I am seeing. There are wounds that is already healing. Um, probably this person also has an inner childhood wounds. And they are now done with the purging. I can sense here that they are already enlightened and ready to give you a passionate beginning. But I can see your three of swords. Well, this person hurted you, that's a fact, and nine of wands and knight of pentacles. Hurted you because this person placed this connection in a stagnant position where in probably this person, you know, okay, since you love me, I want you to put to, um, to be in this position and I'm just gonna come back to you in my own convenience. I can see here nine of wands, they know that they are losing. They're losing you if they will just, if, if they're not going to make any move here. But this is the last cycle of your separation and they finally realize what this connection is. So this is your reading here, Pisces. If you resonate with this and you want to go in-depth, you can book a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box. If you are okay with this reading and you just have a question or two, there's um, a link also in the description box. I hope to see you in the other channel. I'm Tana Staro 111. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.